Spoilers ahead. The Belchers watch the latest business next door fail. Linda has an idea. Why not expand into the empty storefront? Enter Calvin Fish Odor. Scary. Years ago, he lost a trophy that his father won for best businessing in the Bay, and he's convinced that his brother Felix stole it. He wants the Belchers to act in a play he's penned about the supposed crime, hoping that watching it will provoke Felix into revealing his guilt. Rich families are weird. Linda proposes he could let them use the storefront for free. Bob nixes the idea. In his dreams, a not-so-scary ghost shows him a vision of the high-end restaurant he could open next door. V plot time, Louise tries to convince Bob to let her use the restaurant's night sharpener, pressuring Tina into showing her the ropes, and Louise uses her new skills to carve a mustache on a tomato effigy of Bob. Cute? And then it's the day of the show. The tiny house is packed with fish odors tenants who he blackmailed into coming, plus Felix and the always supportive Teddy. What a stud. Bob is torn. On stage, he blurts out he doesn't want to expand. Fish odor finally gets an admission of guilt from Felix. Bob apologizes to his wife, both for ruining the play and for his lack of ambition. Linda tells him she only pushed the idea of a new space because she thought he was excited about it. The kids present Louise's effigy to Bob as a trophy for best dad who is also pretty good at business. And that's that.